Hello friends, this is Solar and you are watching another interesting tutorial from SmartCode. In this tutorial, we are going to develop a color selector program. Let me show you first how it works. We have a full RGB color spectrum as you can see and by moving your mouse pointer onto the color spectrum image, you can read the RGB values here, RGB components and in this small screen, you can even see the color made by these components. In order to make a selection, you need to click somewhere on the spectrum image. For example, I want to select this one. So I made a click here. And now in this portion, so we can see our color selection. This application is quite common in different programs like Microsoft Word, Photoshop, and Paint. For example, in the Microsoft Word, we have an application like this. You may have seen, as you can see, you can browse and read the RGB components values and you can make a selection by clicking somewhere on the spectrum. So we are going to develop the application similar to the one we have in Microsoft Word. To begin, just open a new Windows Form project. We can call it color selector. We will prepare the interface first. Begin with the form. Adjust form size to 400 into 500. Form title should be color selector. Now drop a label and a picture box. This label would be the program heading at the top. We need to adjust some properties. Set auto size to false and dark to top. Text alignment would be middle center. And now we can change the font size to make it prominent. Okay, so here is our picture box. And in the picture box, we need RGB color spectrum. You can easily download it from the internet. In Google search, just write RGB color spectrum. And you can download any rectangular spectrum image. Okay, so I have already downloaded the image that I'm using. And if you want to use the same image, so there is a link in the description that you can use. Okay. I already have this in the application. Okay, now the image is loaded and size mode is normal. I'm changing size mode to auto size. Okay, one thing that you won't do here is a stretch image because stretching is gonna destroy dimensions and pixels of the color spectrum. Okay, so we are gonna choose auto size, and here we have the image. Now let's continue with the design. I need two more labels. Place it here and copy and paste. Adjust some properties. Auto size false. In this label, we are gonna print RGB values as mouse pointer moves over the spectrum and this label would be the small screen you can add just some more properties here like you can make it more prominent and 
the name should be RGB values. I'll fix other label. LBL small scale. We can call it and Art size false. And we don't need text inside. Okay, so this portion is almost designed. Now we're gonna design the selection area here. So drag a group box. We can call it selective color. Add some labels. Copy and paste. This should be red, green, blue. Now we need text boxes. and paste and we can call it tbx red value and the third one Okay, now select all the text boxes and set read only to true. Okay, now we need a smaller screen here as well to show the selected color. Now for that, so we can take a panel, take a panel control, and we can call it. Panel selected screen. Okay, so our interface is almost ready, and we need only a button control to close the application. We can name it close, and text should be close okay our interface is ready and now it's time to code and in this application so we are performing two major operations the first one is read the rgb components while moving the mouse pointer on the spectrum and the second one is make a color selection by clicking on the spectrum that means we need to register mouse move and mouse down event to the picture box let's do that select the picture box and here in the event list we have mouse move and mouse down event. So let's attach mouse move first. And now we will attach mouse down. Now we have mouse move and mouse down event registered to our application. And we are gonna program mouse move operation the first thing we are going to do is to change the spectrum image into pixel data and for that we have bitmap class in dotnet we can code like this
we can cast it into the bitmap so we are just converting the image we have on the form into the pixel data and here we have a bitmap object that holding pixel data as we now have pixel data ready to use we can now call get pixel method of bitmap class to get the color So here we are applying the get pixel method to pixel data and that method returns the color of the specified pixel and a specified pixel is our mouse location we are inside the mouse move event and mouse event aux class has two properties x and y and these two properties return the mouse location this code on the right side of the assignment is gonna return a color and that's why we are declaring a color variable for holding that color now we have color in this variable and we can easily assign that to the small screen okay let's run the program and check it out And here you see it's working fine, it's good. Now, getting the RGB components from color is quite easy because color class has properties for RGB component. We just need to call the properties and we can code like Here you see the property R that's gonna return the R component and the red component of the color. Our first operation is almost done. Let's run the program and check it out. And here you see the RGB values and the color made by the values here in the small screen. Yeah, okay, it's good, it's working fine. Now the second operation is click operation, and we have already registered the milestone event. And the code we need here is almost the same as we wrote here. So let's program the click operation. Now we're going to assign the color to the 
select the screen here and the name of that screen is panel selected screen back color okay so this is fully programmed let's run the program And as you move mouse pointer over the image so we can read the rgb components value here and as i click on the image somewhere so we can make a color selection okay so it's working fine without any problem yeah and finally we need to pull on the close button let's double click on the close button and register the event That's it, our application is ready. I hope you liked the tutorial. Thanks for watching.